Hello everyone, welcome to the explanation. So, one of the questions that has come from one student is to write a program to multiply two matrix that is matrix multiplication using the concept of pointer and function. so we have to use both the concept using pointer as well as using function so here for using a pointer in 2d8 just remember one thing while doing a scanner if you are using the matrix as this normal if you use the matrix like this address of x i j so using pointer notation you have to use it as x plus i plus j and for value this is for a scanner uh, or for getting the address and if you want to print the value so normally we use like this in normal case in pointer case we'll use like this star star x plus i plus j fine so that's all uh, for the notation of pointer in uh, 2d matrix so i have solved this question in my uh, compiler okay so here what we have to do so I'll, I'll be explaining in very briefly okay this question so please uh, see this program and if you want you can execute this okay so matrix multiplication in pointer so here i have defined the um, the row size as three and the column size as three okay next step is i have declared my function okay so i have declared three functions one function is for matrix input it means that to read the matrix one fun one function is matrix print this is for printing the matrix and one function is for matrix multiplication so it is for multiplication of matrix okay so here you can see in matrix input i have the argument is a single matrix that is whichever matrix we want to read we'll pass it here and we'll read it for matrix print also, for printing also, I have taken a single matrix. So whichever matrix, that is the resultant matrix is a single matrix. So if you want to pass it, you pass it and you will print the matrix. But for multiplication, I have passed three matrix. Matrix 1, matrix 2 and matri result matrix. Okay, So matrix 1 is our first matrix, matrix 2 is our second matrix and this is the resultant matrix. Fine, so if you will see, here I have uh, assigned the value of C only. Okay, C means... Uh, column so as i told you in, uh, in previous videos that the size of row is not compulsory but the size of column is always compulsory in a matrix if you want you can put your r also if you don't put that's not a problem okay so these are my function declaration part let's go to the main function so in main function i have taken three uh, matrices okay declared three matrices matrix one having row and column that is three by three I think that's three yeah yeah three by three next is matrix two three by three and another is product matrix that is three by three okay so let's enter the uh, printf enter the element of first matrix okay so of size three by three so as we know that for input of the matrix or for reading the matrix we have to pass to is to a function so I have passed it to function matrix input that is mat1 I have passed so when this line is executed it will go to the function that is matrix input function okay and it will pass the value whatever is there see matrix input mat1 okay so mat1 goes there here and here we know that the row is 3 and the column is 3 because we have defined in the uh, upper section only so finally you know how to read a matrix so we have taken two loop i and j so for i equals to 0 i less than r i plus plus j equals to 0 j less than c j plus plus and for scanf we have used the notation of pointer so here we have used the notation of pointer as i have explained star mat i plus j similar way for second matrix again we will pass it to the function matrix input so again it will go to the same function now here instead of matrix 1 here matrix 2 will come okay so row and column will be 3 and 3 and similarly we will read the matrix 2 okay so again it will come here now i have read matrix 1 i have read matrix 2 now it's time to multiply both matrices okay so we'll use the function matrix multiply here as we have declared we'll pass three matrices matrix one matrix two and matrix three that is result matrix so here we are going to pass 
matrix one, okay, matrix two, and product matrix. Okay, these three matrix I'm going to pass. Fine. So after calling this function, it goes to the matrix multiplication function. So I think this is in last portion. Yeah. Okay, matrix multiplication function. So matrix multiplication, matrix one, matrix two, and mat resultant matrix is there. So I hope you you know the concept of matrix multiplication. If you don't know the concept, please go to our previous videos where we have uploaded simply matrix multiplication. Okay, same concept is used. Fine. So you go there. We have declared here three va three variable i, g, and k, and one sum is declared for partial sum. Okay. So i equals to zero, i less than or i plus plus, j equals to zero, j less than c, j plus plus. Some value we have declared at zero, and we are going to uh, declare another uh, loop that is k equals to zero, k less than c, k plus plus, and sum equals to sum plus matrix one into matrix two. Okay. And finally, the resultant matrix, the value. So you see here, two stars are there. So this is for value. Okay. So finally, the value of resultant matrix will be equal to sum. Okay. So that's all for product matrix. Okay. So please, if you don't know the concept, please go to our previous videos for the concept. Finally, I'm just explaining how to solve it using um, fun function and pointer. So finally, what we have to do? We have to print matrix. So we'll go to main function and we'll again call the matrix print function and here we will pass the product matrix because mm, the product of matrix 1 and matrix 2 has come to product matrix okay so it will go to print function here product is passed to matrix okay so i equals to 0 i less than or i plus plus j equals to 0 j less than c j plus plus and finally we are going to print it the value of the matrix okay that's all for the matrix multiplication it's very easy if in exam they say use the concept of function and pointer please use the pointer uh, concept here for printing the value for reading the value and for uh, function you can make three functions or if they have asked in exam about uh, right use these and this function so use that function if they have not asked you can use any number of function okay that's not a compulsion and here you know whatever function is there you just go and pass the variables here okay so if any confusion in this question let me know in comment box and again i'm telling you i have not explained the concept of pointer mul uh, sorry multiplication matrix multiplication here because we have already made a video which is in uh, you know uh, our playlist so please go and check there okay i have just explained the concept how to use okay i hope um, so okay let me run and show you this program sorry uh, okay, so enter the element in first matrix of size 3 by 3. So already it is of size 3 by 3. So 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Enter the element in second matrix 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so product is 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. Okay, so if uh, as I have already cleared the matrix row as 3 and column as 3, so we don't have to check whether the uh, column of first matrix is equals to row of second matrix because it is uh, you know equal matrix is there if you want you can check here like if different row and column are given you can check in the first step only if the value of uh, row of first matrix is not equal to the value of column in second matrix sorry if the column of first matrix is not equal to row of first matrix multiplication cannot be performed fine so that's all for matrix multiplication thank you so next i'll come up with some other videos